So in here from James Webb Telescope, we are able to detect some interesting structures from this particular image here, which is in this case going from the Beta Pictori system. That's around 63 light years away from here. And this here, according to this article, says that this structure is known to be a dusty disk that is in the likeness, I would say, of a cat's tail and i was like hmm the cat's tail and if you look further into details and how it is inclined this here can actually give us in-depth analysis based on the composition and also how this is in comparison with hubble space telescope results and how that shows how many disks were revealed there versus what is unseen here which has intrigued a lot of astronomers let's just say and so looking into the details here about this result it says here based on the Hubble Space Telescope here it says that it revealed a second debris disk in this system that is inclined with respect to the outer disk and this here that is of course the scene which was pretty cool at that time but now the astronomers that are analyzing this result here using the James Webb Telescope they actually discovered a newly previously unseen structure the mid-infrared instrument and that of the near-infrared camera to be able to get this investigation that allows us to not only get the composition of the better pixel previously detected the main and the secondary disk but also more things that are really interestingly positioned here based on how they are inclined that is mainly focusing on the cat's tail according to this article it says that it extends from the southwest portion of the secondary disk debris and so looking at the image closely it says here that the image from webb's mid infrared instrument specifically here shows the star system beta pictories now an edged on disk of dusty debris generated by collisions between orange in this color which reveals the presence of a planet now and this here is dominated in the view but also the other collisions among themselves in terms of comets and asteroids that are included here but in here it shows that a horror secondary disk which is revealed in cyan color is inclined by about five degrees relative to the primary disk now the curved feature that is at the upper right which the sense team nicknamed the cat's tail has never been seen before the choreograph that is the black center or circle with two small discs these have been used to block the light of the central star and this here shows the location to be marked with a white star shape now this is pretty cool in terms of the description of this image from the mid-infrared instrument point of view now not only is a mid-infrared instrument able to reveal the cat's tail on this particular beta picture but most importantly the composition temperature differences in here based on the disk and this here is really fascinating to see based on this particular article here which says that in here that there are two different types of materials around the better peak but the MIRI clearly showed us that the material of the secondary disk and the cat tail is hotter than that of the main disk and so this here is really incredible to see the power of this particular James Webb telescope specifically now looking at the mid infrared instrument and how capable its sensitivity is towards that of the color and how that implies the temperature changes or difference in those regions in the B P, let's put it that way. Furthermore, in terms of what actual materials make up the hollow segment, it states here that it is more of an organic refractory material that is similar to the matter that is found on the surface of comets and asteroids in our solar system. So pretty much they're hypothesizing that it's going to be a very dark carbon rich and much like what the MRI detected at the better 
pick. So it's kind of interesting to see how they are able to rationalize this particular composition and maybe more testing can actually give us the accurate composition of the carbons or specifically what compounds are making up this particular hot region in this particular space here. Now in addition when they introduced the scale bar to this image what they revealed was that its scale bar shows that the disk of the beta peak extends for hundreds of astronomical units that is AU. Well, I mean, one AU is pretty much the average distance between Earth and the Sun. Now, in our solar system here, Neptune orbits around 30 astronomical units, and this here is from the Sun. Now, one burning question about this particular image here is why is the cat's tail actually curved in that manner, or what causes that cat's tail to curve? And so, looking at the details here, according to various comments, it says here that the team modeled various scenarios in an attempt to emulate the cat's tail and unravel its origin. Now, one states here that this year is as a result of a dust production event that occurred a mere 100 years ago. And according to a video simulation, it says that this dust production event is likely a collision. Now this tendril of dust which is seen in the southwest portion of the better peak secondary debris disk is estimated to span around 10 billion miles. Now there is a slight caution here when it comes to the actual view of this debris dip here and it's kind of like saying according to this article that the tail that looks like it is just away from the disk is just a simple optical illusion that our perspective combined with the curved shape of the tail creates the observed angle of the tail while in fact the arc of material is only departing from the disk at a 5 degree incline. Now taking into consideration the tail's brightness, the team estimated that the amount of the dust within the cat's wheel to be equivalent to a large main belt asteroid spread out across 10 billion miles. Now in addition to this here, it says here that a recent dust production event within the better peak debris disk could also explain a newly seen asymmetric extension of the inclined inner disk as shown in the MIRI data and seen only on the side opposite of the tail. Now recent collisional dust production could also account for a feature previously spotted by the Atacama large millimeter sub millimeter array in 2014 that is a clump of carbon monoxide located near the cat's tail. Now since the star's radiation could break down CO within roughly about 100 years, this still present concentration of gas that could be lingering evidence of the same event. So now you know all about the cartel that is revealed here by James Webb Telescope on the beta pictories. Let us know your thought about this interesting image on the comment section down below and whether you think that there might be more that needs to be investigated about not only the composition of the hot versus the cooler regions but also a proper theory that is behind this particular creation of this spectacular cat's tail as they put it here. Otherwise, I hope you found this really informative. Hit the comment down below and let me hear your thoughts about this. By that way, you can talk to us soon. Stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.